So, so many leaks have come out about the iPhone 8. Some people have been saying that it's going to be this Galaxy S8 type of phone. Some people have been saying just going to be a mix of the Galaxy S8 type of phone and the iPhone 7 design. And really, most of it has been pointing towards the Galaxy S8 design. And I don't think that Apple's going to go with the other design because it's too late into the game for Apple to change it now. And if they did then it's going to make a lot of people mad because lots of people love this design for the Galaxy. A guy called Gordon Kelly from Forbes says that he talked with Notice, which is a case designer, and got some CAD files and was able to render a possible image of what the iPhone 8 is going to look like. But he says that this is the confirmed design. Do I completely believe him though? I mean, you got to take everything with a grain of salt now because you can't just, as someone told me before in the comments, you can't just say that every article is true. There's a good chance that this isn't true, and you gotta question everything in this day. So, this is what he says it's gonna be. It's the Galaxy S8 phone, and... I mean, the phone looks great and all with the Galaxy S8 sort of design, but I mean, we already kinda knew this is what Apple's gonna go for. Again, some people were scared, like myself, that they were gonna go with the iPhone 7 design, and it's kind of, you know, relaxing or just lets you feel feel better about yourself when it says it pretty much it's confirmed at this point, according to this guy, that it's not going to be that. It's going to be the beautiful phone that we've all been asking. Now, of course, all the leaks that have been talked about still stand. The phone is going to have this huge, really good camera on the back. It's going to have the, you know, just not going to have a headphone jack. <clears throat> uh... It's going to, though, have a lightning jack, which, I mean, that's not really a huge disappointment. Lots of people have been saying, oh, it's going to be um, a USB-C. That would have been nice because USB-C is sort of becoming the future, but I get what Apple's doing. They don't want to just leave behind people like they did with the iPhone 4 or 3, where they had that big little, like, charging cable, and then they just ditched it for the lightning port. But I guess it makes sense why they did that, and I don't think they're going to do it yet. I'm sure in the near future there might change, might change, again, might change to the USB-C port, but right now it makes sense why they're not. He also says that Apple will almost double its size for the iPhone 8 and with Touch ID. So basically, Touch ID is going to be in this phone as expected, but it's going to have more uses, so that's exciting. Like he's saying that the power button will actually have Touch ID. Like he's saying that the power button will actually have Touch ID. And, you know, since the, um, uh, the phone kind of doesn't have a major thing, which is the home button. Well, it does, but it's under the screen. Like, Touch ID is still possible, but Apple just, according to leaks, probably won't have it happen because it's just not possible. But still, it's it could work because people are saying that, oh, well, maybe as, like, to replace the Touch ID in the home button, it's going to be in the power button. And a good reason for this is be or good evidence for this leak is because Apple p filed a patent for this type of idea So pretty much expected that's what they're gonna do So I'm now gonna give my final thoughts on the iPhone 8 design that's supposedly confirmed So if Apple like this guy says is going to actually celebrate this and release or not release this and reveal this on the iPhone 10th anniversary celebration That would be interesting because they would have like at the end or at the beginning we have just this little sneak peek surprise for you iPhone fans. We have the iPhone 8 on the way. And if they do actually release it, release it at the events, that would be interesting as like a 10th anniversary special because, the, again, this is the biggest change to the iPhone we've seen in a long time. It would be, it would be pretty interesting to see that happen. I know I'm just saying interesting, interesting, interesting over and over again, but really, that's a strong word to use when you're talking about leaks because... It's just very, it's very cool to talk about the possibilities with the iPhone 8 and basically all technology altogether because that's what I love doing. I love talking about technology. But anyways, I'm going on a little ramble. Do I think that this design is confirmed? Yeah, I do think this is just what they're going to do because it's too late into the game, as I already said, for Apple to just change it now. But still, if they do go with this 4.7 inch screen, or 5.8 5 inch screen, as this guy says, it looks like one of those, it looks like it would be nice to just have in your pocket and just, you know, 
text around and do stuff with it because it seems like a phone that re is really just going to give you bragging rights because it looks gorgeous and it's going to have all of these knicks knacks and stuff like that that make it stand out from the rest. Though the only problem that I could see people having with this phone would be its size and price. Because while the size is expected, the price is just, you know, for, for like business people, and not really for the low-end consumer who just kind of want the best stuff for the best price. Yeah, if you want this phone at a good price, you're not going to see it. People are saying this phone's going to be like $1,400. I don't think it's going to be that much. I think they might lower it to 1000 So if you did find this video interesting, please do share this video on social media. Also leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you have any video suggestions or news topics I can do related to tech and gaming, please private message me on YouTube about them. And if you ask, I might give you a shout out and see you.